Hello guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna show you how we can create this moving icon for our level. You can use these kind of animations to show the direction that the player should go and uh, they look much better and cooler compared to static icons. It's also very easy to set up and we can achieve this by creating a material and then animating a mask. So I'm going to create this material from scratch to show you guys exactly how it's done. Just right click here, create a material and let's name it uh, animated arrow 2 and open it up. Here I'm going to set the blend mode on translucent so the opacity option is turned on and then I'm going to assign a mask to it. I have downloaded this image set from FreePick and I'm gonna use this one. But of course you can just google uh, PNG arrow and find the one you like. So let's select this and then create a new file. Then I'm gonna drag this to my new file and I also want it to be a PNG so I'm going to delete the background and also delete the white area. Okay, now let's uh, export a PNG and then import it into Unreal. Alright, here it is and now I'm going to use it as an opacity mask in my material. Just open the material and drag it in and then connect the alpha to the opacity node. It should look like this and now we can change the color of the material and next we are going to animate the mask so here just hold 3 and left click to add a constant 3 and then connect it to the base color let's change the color to for example green and we can also have an emissive color so let's add a constant 1 by holding 1 and left click and also uh, a multiply node and then multiply them together and now you can connect it to the emissive color let's set the value for the constant on for example 5 and now we can have an emissive uh, material for our icon all right now in order to animate the mask we just need a panner so just right click search for panner and plug it in here we can define the speed so for example let's set it on 2 and see how it looks as you can see it's too fast and also it's in the wrong direction so I'm going to put it on minus uh, 0.5 and now it should look fine yeah it's looking great and now we need to assign it to a plane in the level so here let's uh, add a plane and then scale it up and assign the material to it yeah as you can see it's looking great and now we can do some adjustments to make it look even better the first thing i want to change is that uh, i don't want to have these space between my arrows i want a constant flow so i'm going to uh, edit my uh, png mask in photoshop i'm going to uh, select these guys and create a bunch of copies so we do not have this space anymore All right now let's put them exactly at the center of my image and uh, export a png and see how it looks I'm going to name it uh, my arrows 2 and then import it into Unreal. Here I'm going to select my texture sample and here I'm going to select the new arrow that I made. Now you can see that we do not have the space anymore but uh, it looks a little messed up. The reason is that uh, the texture that we made is not tile level and uh, the end of the arrows is not compatible with the beginning. 
In order to fix it, we just need to make some adjustments. I'm just going to delete this and this and put this one uh, to the edge of my screen. Then again, let's uh, make a bunch of copies. And now what we want to do is to repeat what happens here at the beginning. So for example, let's uh, cut it from this point and put this one exactly here and crop the image. Again, export the PNG and uh, import it into Unreal and this time it should work beautifully. Set the texture sample on my arrows tree and now you can see that it's working perfectly. Okay, another thing we can do to improve it and make it look even better is to match the edge of the plane with uh, these arrows. As you can see here, now it's being cut uh, based on this straight line and does not look natural. So we need to create a plane that uh, is shaped like an arrow and apply this material to it instead. Here I've modeled this plane and I'm going to use it instead of a simple plane so it looks better. Just uh, import it into Unreal and drag it to your level and assign the material to it. Now you can see that uh, it looks like this and our arrows are cut based on the shape of the plane. Another thing I want to mention is that uh, you can adjust how it's projected on your plane by going to the modeling mode and uh, in the UVs you can hit this project icon and then uh, adjust the placement of the material. Here for example when uh, it's not at the center of the object it does not look good so just uh, adjust it properly and now we are good to go. Yeah, and that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you learned something new from this tutorial, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you later.